Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it was requested for me to recreate a look that I did on my Instagram. It was actually day 55 of my 100 days of makeup look on Instagram. I'll post a picture just here. So I'm going to recreate that for today's look. It's a very deep purple moment. I put on a purple top as well, just to kind of fit in with everything. Um, I am going to do more eye focus. I did quickly film my skin portion, but it's the exact same products I always use, so I didn't want to bore you too much. So I'll just quickly show you the montage of me putting my face on now. So yes, as you saw, it's the same products I always use, so I kind of just wanted to, like I said, not bore you too much, but if you're, in but if you're interested in this purple makeup look, then please keep on watching. So this was the palette I used for that look. This is the um, Urban Bible palette by Sosu and Kaylee MUA. It's this one just here, and I used a lot of the purple tones and then popped this nice bronze one on top to kind of go with it. So, okay, so I'm first of all going to take the shade Sacrifice just here on my blending brush. And this is going to be focused onto the outer portion of the lid. So this is going to be my classic kind of winged out look that I'm going for. I'm just going to pop this onto the outer portion to begin with. Right, then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pick some up of unruly which is like my favorite shade in this palette it's a beautiful like purple burgundy color um and i'm going to use that the exact same brush i'm going to use that to blend out what i've just done and i'm going to go right into the crease for this And I'm going to start winging it out now as well. I'm going to try and get it as identical as I can to that look in the picture. But it was kind of just sat down and I just played with makeup at that time. So I wasn't necessarily concentrating on the exact shades I was using. So, But I know I use most of these purpley tones. So hopefully... I can get this pretty accurate. And it was quite a dramatic look that I did, and I also did it with a bold lip as well. So it's a very kind of, yeah, quite a dramatic look that I had going on. Right. What I'm going to do next is actually pick some of Sacred Fire up, which is a red, and I kind of, I'm just using the exact same brush, and I kind of buffed this over this section here just to add a bit of red to it so I'm not using it to blend out the other shades as such I'm just kind of blending it in with those other shades I'm going to pick some more of Sacrifice up and just start buffing a bit more into the outer portion of the wing just to make sure that is nice and deep as well as on the lid I'm just doing very. Then picking up some more unruly and just going over that one. 
Okay, so now onto the actual blending process. So all I did was take a Luxie 231, it's just a small taper blending brush, and I picked up some Avail, which is the white in this palette. And I used it, just gently buffed over these edges. I still kept kind of like a distinct shape to this, but I just wanted it a bit more kind of blended. And it also just gave the outer portion a slightly more pink feel to it as well. And also what I did is I used my concealer brush just to kind of tidy up the edges slightly because it was relatively winged out and quite, not sharp, but relatively kind of neat looking. Now I feel like the shape of the wing is maybe slightly different from my previous look, but I'm not sure I can fix that at this stage. So I'm just going to go with a slightly different shape, but I pretty much... I uh, did a winged out look like I always do, but yeah, I think it's slightly off in comparison to the previous time I did this look. Okay, I'm going to pick some Unru Unruly up again. It's pretty she. Just run this along the lower lash line. And then I took some of Sacrifice, which was dark purple on a pencil brush just on this outer portion and then what I did is on the lid I took some of 1996 I just used my finger for this I feel like these work quite nicely with the finger or damp and I'm just going to pack this onto the lid now I'm going to go with a brush just to kind of bring it up a bit further through the crease but to get the majority of this down, I'm going to use my finger. Yeah, it's like a small flat brush. And then pop some of this through the crease. We'll just bring it a little bit higher through the crease. Blend the edges where the kind of dark colours meet. And I also took it along this lower lash side as well. Now I'm going to take my blending brush and just go over the edges slightly here so the gold or the bronze is a bit more diffused into that portion. And what I actually did do for a change is add black liner to my waterline. I felt it added to it so I actually just used this one, this MUA Intense Colour Eyeliner in Lights Out. And just prop that into the waterline. Okay, I'm going to load up my lashes with the Lily Lolo Big Lash Mascara. Okay, so that's the eye portion done. I do really love these eyes. They're very dramatic and bold, I know. But they are, I really do enjoy this look. I just think purples and like golds are really beautiful together. So I did do a very bold lip as well in the picture. I'm just going to show you a nude option quickly, if that's what you prefer. And then I will top it off with the bold lip that I actually wore. So I'm literally just going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner to begin with. And then I will just top it up with the uh, Lily Lolo Whisper lip gloss. This is officially coming to its end. That's this look with a nude lip, um, a very simple nude combination, which is one of my favourites. Um, so if you are someone who wants to go really bold on the eyes and do this, but wants to keep it nude on the lip, then this is a perfect option for that, and it obviously works perfectly well as well. Um, but I am now going to apply the bold lip because that is the one I used in the photo and I do think it looked really cool as well. So I actually use the Nabla Liquid Lipstick in Kernel. I don't use this one often so I want to try and get some use out of it. I 
And that is with the lip I actually use the Instagram post. So yeah, something a bit bold using bold eyes and bold lips. But I do love the combo a lot. So I kind of, yeah, I'm really glad I got uh, had a chance to recreate the look properly. Um, so thank you so much um, for recommending me to recreate it because it was nice to play and do the look again. And it's a very fun look. And like I said, you can either do the nude lip or this bold lip, which is what I did originally as well. Um, yeah, and I love purples and golds together I think is really really nice so or bronzy tones so I really hope you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching leave your request for future videos down below I think I'm going to play with um more colors next time brighter colors so I'm thinking there's a silk naturals eyeshadow which is a green that I haven't yet played with so I'm thinking of doing something with that maybe a yellow a pop of pink on the lips or something so a lot more vibrant color wise but yeah so do leave a request down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.